there is heated so it helps protect them. Um, what we're going to do is once we get in here, um, everybody stay together as a group and uh, we'll walk down and stay on the middle section of the uh, uh, walkway. And once we get down there, um, I'll see how the rhinos are doing and we may get to uh, touch them. But um, as you're standing there, just be aware of the other rhinos around you. If you see one starting to turn its butt toward you, uh, you might want to move away from its butt because they can spray about 15 to 20 feet behind themselves. And uh, you probably don't want to smell like that all day. So if you see me running, you might want to join along and uh, come with me. So uh, we'll go in here and see uh, what's going on today with these guys. Once we get in here, if, if you notice uh, this little deal right here, uh, this side, the bottom one, is all this side. So right here, this guy, he's our biggest male. You can see him spraying right now. So you actually might want to scoop back. <laughs> he's the worst one about spraying at people. Um, his, this is Big Tex. He's our biggest male out here. And it actually tells on this chart how many calves they've had and, um, and when they were born and everything on this chart. Um, but we'll work our way on down to Duma. Duma is usually the most calm one that will um, come over. These animals are real graceful. They actually like to be touched, and uh, they will come and lean up against these rails, and uh, you'll see how nice they are. Um, but uh, as we're um, down there, uh, we just want to remain kind of quiet. And uh, But notice their horns. When we get up close to them, their horns are made of the same thing as your hair and your fingernails, which is called keratin. And... Uh, uh, that's why they're going extinct is because uh, people are hunting these uh, rhinos for those horns. They make dagger handles, sword handles out of them. Uh, so the more expensive your sword handle or dagger handle is, uh, the more power you have over in Africa. And it would cost probably $2,000 to take an animal like this down, remove its horn, and allow it to live and the horn grow back and everything. Um, and they don't want to do that. They'll just go buy a 50 cent bullet and kill the animal. So uh, we'll work our way down here. Why he's standing like that. Everybody.
And you can feel in these little flaps of skin. That's how soft it is right there. And what you're feeling is that those little, uh, kind of feels like scales on the fish. Um, it's actually blood. They love to hang on the bud. Right, 